This video demonstrates a general exam of the cervical spine, including look, feel, and move. Starting with inspection. Looking from the posterior, anterior, left, and right sides, you will look for swelling, erythema, atrophy, deformity, and scars. From the lateral aspect, make sure you have a good look at the normal cervical lordosis. Ensure that the earlobe and the tragus rest over top of the AC joint. Here's an example in which the earlobe is much anterior, showing poor posture. Next, move on to feel or palpation. Starting midline, bony palpation is going to include the occipital protuberance and the bony elements of the spine, here the spinous processes. From there, you'll palpate over the perivertebral muscles on both the left and right side of the spine. In this region, you'll also palpate over the upper trapezius muscle. Remember, you'll always check the joint above and below, in this case, further palpation in the shoulder. Palpation continues from the lateral aspect of the neck. Here, you'll have a good look at the sternocleidomastoid muscle, palpating both the clavicular and sternal heads. In addition, anteriorly, you'll palpate over the scalenes muscle. Anteriorly, your exam can include a check of lymph nodes, including the submandibular lymph nodes and the sublingual lymph nodes. Midline, you'll find the thyroid and trachea, and also palpate once again over the sternocleidomastoid and scalene muscles. Finally, move or range of motion. The cardinal movements of the neck include flexion and extension, which you'll view from both an anterior, lateral, and posterior position. Left and right lateral flexion and left and right lateral rotation. Remember, always check the joint above and below to complete your exam. Please see our other videos for more detailed assessments.